Often while loading an image, we sometimes leave a blank slot or show a loading indicator or a default placeholder which has nothing in common with the original image. And all this method spoils the overall user experience. But what if we can show a placeholder that is much more like the real image? That will be a much pleasant experience, right? And every major application uses it. So why not you? So what is that thing? Well, it is called Blurhash. According to the Blurhash web page, it is a compact representation of the placeholder for an image, which indeed is just a 20 to 30 character string. Yeah, string which represents the whole placeholder for that image. Like this is the string which will represent this placeholder image. And if you are interested in generating this blur hash string at your backend, then please check out the blur hash github repo. Now let's start the actual fun part. So by the end of this video, we will be creating this Pinterest style grid layout with the blur hash to create an awesome user experience. So firstly for the images as well as for the blur hash string, we will be using the unsplash API. So go to the developer slash API page to get the access key. After that, we will create an access key variable inside a const folder. Then inside the pubspec.yml file, add http, flutter staggered grid view and flutter blur hash packages as a dependency. Now create a stateful widget and we will name it as home screen. In it, create an image data variable to store the list of the images from the unsplash API. Then below it, create the base URL variable to store the unsplash API route in which we will add the client id parameter and pass it our access key and please make sure to add this and symbol at the end now we will create a fetch image method in it will make a get request to our base url with a query parameter of wallpaper by the way you can try any other query parameter like nature or mountain and that will work too after that we will add a per page parameter equal to 30 in order to fetch 30 images after that we will decode the response body and store it inside the data variable which is a JSON object. Now inside it, we are only interested in the results array which indeed consists of the 30 images for our query. Now each of the image has a width and a height as well as the blur hash and a URL for the image at different resolution. Please remember all these four parameters as we will be using them further in this video. Then after decoding, we will add all the result list element to our image data list and call a set state over it. Now after that, inside the init state, we will call our fetch image method. And now it's time to create the UI. So inside the scaffold, add a body in which we will check that if the image data is empty, then show a circular progress indicator. And if it is not empty, then we will show a mansionary grid view, which is a grid layout from the flutter staggered grid view package in which the container height are sized based on the child size, which is exactly what we want to achieve the pin interest style look. Now in it, add a grid delegate and pass the silver simple grid delegate with fixed cross axis count and in it set the cross axis count to 2 as we are showing only 2 elements per row then add an item count equal to image data dot length then add a padding and below it add an item builder now inside it we are going to create this image container with that blur hash placeholder so let's get to it so first add a container with a padding of 8 pixels then give it a child of aspect ratio now for the aspect ratio which is basically height by width ratio so to get it we will be using the image data which is this whole result array at any given index which give us this inner object where we can access its height like this and then divide it by its width then add a clip red widget with a border radius of 10 pixels and then finally add the blur hash widget and then pass the blur hash of the current image and then add the image url from the urls object here we will choose the regular sized one. Then add an image width of box width dot cover and finally add a duration of 500 millisecond to get that awesome fade animation when the image gets loaded. And now when we run our application, we will see this awesome UI. And that's it for this video. Thank you for your attention.